So I'm here holding a flag, and I've got to be honest with you, it's been a while since I've, uh, I've seen one of these, because we don't use them with Lightstream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flag to shade off different, uh, the different lights individually so you can see what they're doing. So this is the number, this is the number 50 by 50 reflector there, uh, DLED7 with an uh, image, image intensifier going into, into number one. And that's the side light. As you can see, if I take it away, you just have your three quarter front light, which is this one here, 25 by 25. Um, so that's with the number two coming in, and that's without it. And then if I take the... 25 or 25 away, you see that's a three quarter front light. That's it back on again, and that's it off. We have got a bit, obviously, the ambient light lighting me here, which is, is still uh, affected on her face. Uh, and then the third light here we got is the number four. And what we're doing with the number four is we're not bothering to put any light into it. We're just letting it pick up the ambience from the other two lights and reflect it back. And you can see that's producing a nice sheen on the side of the face there. As you can see that that's So that's kind of your, I guess it's three point lighting, but it's not using the traditional three points of light because there's no fill light. Well, there is, it's kind of the ambience. But what we've got here is a side light to create is maximum amount of modeling. Then we've got the three quarter front light to kind of create the shape of the face. I mean, I like to think of the faces in different, if you have like different bands of light that you're lighting. It's obviously a three dimensional object. And uh, from the ear to the cheek is one band from the cheek to the nose is the second band. So you have like four bands going around the face. And what I'm doing here is I'm lighting one band with this side light here, and then I'm bringing this light around to wrap it around to, the, to another band. And then leaving this band unlit, and then bringing something back in here to light this band here. Do you see what I mean? So it's, it's creating the maximum amount of three dimensions by lighting things separately and creating modeling. But that's, we can discuss that another time. Really, today we're talking about light stream. So, this is number three, you can see the quality of light here. And I really, like I said earlier, I really love the quality of light this produces on the face. Uh, number two, as you can see, it's a lot harsher. You can see the, the shadow here. It's quite a hard sun sort of feeling, like, a, like slightly veiled sunlight. Um, but I really like that to, 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 give, um, to give a kind of a bit of punch, um, as you can see. And then here, it's just, it's just basically around the back of the skin, is where you get the most, it's called, it's called a skip angle. It's the angle of incident equals the angle of reflection. So when you, from this angle where I'm looking now, that's where you get the maximum amount of oil reflectivity. Uh, the oil in the skin, the oil in the surface of the skin, you get the maximum amount of reflectivity at this angle. So what you're really doing for this light here is you're, you're basically reflecting something into the skin rather than lighting it. So you, we, we've gone for a slightly bigger source here. And as I say, we're not actually lighting it individually, we're just using the ambience to reflect back that shape. So that's our, that's our model, that's our sort of um, our portrait lighting broken down. And you can see that, you know, like I said, 50 by 50, 50 by 50, 25 by 25, and the different grades, number, number uh, three, number two, and number four. And then if we go over to the background, this is one of my favorite lights. It's a 400 watt light. I use this quite a lot. Um, when a, when a DLED 7, when we need to get one stage brighter than that, then this is the stage I go to, the 400D, with a parallel beam intensifier. And you can see what it's doing on, to, on our model here. If I, just, if I just pan it through the reflector, you can see um, the intensity of it. So I often use these through windows as sunspots, um, which um, it's amazing, <laughs> amazing that you can do that, because you know traditionally, I would have used an 18,000 watt light far away on a really big stand or sometimes a cherry picker through a window. Now what I'm doing is I'm using these little reflectors close up because remember the inverse square law is not a problem. So I can use these right next to the window, uh, put my 400D light into it, uh, power it domestically and I have, a, I have a convincing shaft of light or sunspot of light um, to work with. As you can see, I'll, I'll just pan the light through the reflector so you can see what it does. You can see, you can see the intensity we can get with this light. And it's a, it's a 400 watt light. It's not a, it's not a big light. Uh, it can be obviously powered domestically. You know, I used to traditionally use 18,000 watt lights. You know, 18Ks uh, 
far, further back, sometimes through diffusion, sometimes hard. And now I'm using 400 watt lights into reflectors. I mean, it's quite a big shift, really.